Am I the a-hole stories? Am I the a-hole for guilt tripping my dad for cutting me and my younger sister out of his will? My dad, 67 male, and I, 24 female, are very close and always have been. He is a good-hearted, generous, kind person who has dedicated his life and career to helping people. I recently found out that he adjusted his will, such that I and my younger sister, 22 female, are not included as beneficiaries in any way. Instead, our older brother Nate, 45 male, will get everything. He says that this is solely because he thinks my sister and I can take care of ourselves, but Nate can't. For some greater context, my dad has fully financially supported Nate for his entire life, he spends his time traveling around, painting, I think in his ideal world he would be a professional painter, and dating lots of women, he's never had a job as far as I'm aware. He has recurring health issues, stemming from an accident when he was a young adult, and he is bipolar. He's never required in home care of any kind, but he has been intermittently in the hospital throughout my lifetime, maybe an average of once every couple of years for several days at a time. I've never visited him in the hospital though, nor has my dad I believe, because he's almost always traveling outside of the US. Nate and I didn't grow up together because of the age difference, and I do not like him. He's always been a condescending jerk to me, my sister, and almost everyone, and his financial relationship with my father has always seemed manipulative to me. When my dad told me about the changes to his will, I started crying. Part of it was shock slash surprise, but yes, if I'm being brutally honest with myself about the type of person I am, and if I'm being transparent with you all, I had always had an expectation in my mind that, when my dad died, both of my siblings and I would all receive a sizable inheritance. For context as per Google, my dad would fall somewhat above upper middle class by US income standards, and it almost felt like an injustice that I had always been a great daughter and very close to my dad, but that I was being cut out of the will so that everything could go to my brother, who's always been kind of a jerk. So I cried. Then I asked my dad if we could stop talking about it. That was a few days ago, and we haven't talked since. My partner says I shouldn't be reacting this way, that I should call my dad and apologize for guilt tripping him just for wanting to take care of someone who needs it more than I do, I have a moderately successful career so far. For what it's worth, I'm not in any way planning to cut off contact with my dad, spend less time with him, or convince him to change his will back, I won't even bring it up. This is solely backward looking to whether I was an a-hole when I cried and shut down the conversation. I know I mentioned before, I'm really biased about Nate. So please give it to me straight if I'm clearly a greedy a-hole here. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole, and honestly your dad does suck for cutting you and your sister out. Yes, it's his money, but your brother obviously just expects it from him. It's a slap in the face. I would reconsider my relationship with my father. I absolutely don't think it should all be about money with a parent. But this is such a kick in the teeth that I think maybe the only way to get across the unfairness of it, is by cutting him off in return. That, and maybe sending him a copy of King Lear to read with Cordelia's parts underlined. Not the a-hole for your reaction. Who wouldn't be upset if they found out their parent cut them out of the will completely, in favor of someone else? Once you've both had time to calm down and process this, it may be a good idea to talk about it with dad, if only to give you a chance to tell him how you feel, and why, about what he's done. Then you can move forward. I agree. You were the opposite of an a-hole. You had a perfectly reasonable response, and you cut off the conversation rather than say anything that you would be hurtful or that you would regret. Not the a-hole, and your father does not deserve you. Not the a-hole. If he really cared about Nate, he'd set up a dedicated insurance policy outside of his regular wealth to fund for his needs, not cut off the rest of his family. It would be cheaper too, than handing someone an estate to deal with. I was thinking this or a trust. If Nate is not able to provide for himself, it may be very difficult for him to regulate it. Now for the next story. Am I the a-hole for moving in with my dad? Okay, I know the title sounds bad, but let me explain. This is also a throwaway because I don't know if my stepdad is on here for sure or not, and mobile. My parents separated when I, 17 female, was 4. They were never married. My mom married my stepdad Rick 5 years ago. Rick has a son who is 10. I'm frequently forced to watch him. My stepbrother is definitely the favored child, which I'm pretty used to, but this really hurt me. My and my stepbrother's birthdays are just a few days apart. My birthday was last week. 
My mom asked what I wanted, and since I know things are a little tighter around here than usual since Rick lost his job, I said French toast for breakfast, a small cake, and maybe a new sketch pad if she could swing it. On my birthday, I was woken up to Rick yelling to get my butt down for breakfast. My mom didn't feel like making French toast, and left out cereal instead, I was a little disappointed, but didn't bother saying anything, because I knew Rick would act like a jerk if I did. No cake, and we had Rick's favorite for dinner which is something I really don't like, and the only acknowledgement I got that it was my birthday at all, was my mother telling me my birthday wasn't an excuse not to share, after my stepbrother pitched a fit that he couldn't have the mug brownie I made myself, since I didn't get a cake. Sunday was my stepbrother's birthday. They went all out, his favorite for every meal, a cake, several expensive gifts, took him out to several places. Later that night, I FaceTimed my dad, and when he asked if everything was okay, I admitted my feelings were really hurt. I mean, I don't think I asked for much, but I didn't even receive a happy birthday, and my stepbrother was treated like the center of the universe all day. I was just tired of being treated like the babysitter, and I'd get over it. Well, he reminded me I have the option to move in with him. Then called my mom and they had a fight. She blew up at me accusing me of causing problems where there are none, and being a brat. I finally lost my temper and told her I was moving in with my dad because she's been a terrible mother to me recently. She's been crying and begging me to stay ever since. Rick says I'm being an a-hole, but I don't think I am. Am I the a-hole for taking my dad up on his offer to move in? Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. I get that the birthday of a 10-year-old is different from a 17-year-old, but the way they treated you is downright mean. Do what's best for you. Thank you. I appreciate your words. It's not your fault OP. It's an unfortunate fact that sometimes when parents get remarried, they decide that the new family is more important than the old one. Your mom and stepdad suck big time, and if things will be better with your dad, then that's what you should do. You didn't create drama out of nothing. Your mom neglected you in favor of her new family, and now she's upset that she's reaping the consequences of that choice. No, not the a-hole. Move in with your dad. Maybe with time, the relationship with your mom will improve. Your stepdad sounds like a jerk, plus older sisters slash brothers don't mean free babysitting. Don't let your mom guilty trip you with her crying, just go to stay with your dad in a healthy environment. Thank you. Just for your info, if Rick calls you an a-hole to your face, for moving out, you shut him down with, F you, you're not my dad Rick. Guarantee he'll shut his face then. Not the a-hole, happy belated birthday and your mom and stepdad suck. The fact that your mom couldn't even make you a birthday breakfast, but could do literally everything for her stepchild, makes her an a-hole. Don't feel bad, move on and never look back, until your mom apologizes for the way that she treats you. Also, that crying is emotional manipulation, she's just trying to get you to feel bad. It's not like she actually feels bad. Thank you. Yes, she's done the crying to get me to change my mind in the past. I'm starting to see it for what it is. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for not wanting my stepsister to come live with me? I am 30 years old and working in London, while my dad is in Italy. My mum passed away some time ago, and my dad remarried recently with S. S already had a daughter, D from now on, 15 female. They are living together in a house owned by my grandfather from my mum's side. There was some bad blood between me and my dad, and his new family, so I took the decision of cutting ties and go my own way. In short, I used to have a room in the family house where I stayed for holidays. My room was given to D, and all my possessions were sold, without my approval, or moved. My dad and S told me to my face I was, causing disturbance when they were trying to set a new family equilibrium. Anyhow, I wished them good luck and told them I will not bother them again. I have since moved on, decided I will settle in London permanently and never looked back. My dad contacted me yesterday, and we ended up catching up about our lives. After a while, he tells me that Dee has issues adapting to studying in Italy, and she's performing poorly. I know that the high school she goes to is notoriously one of the hardest we have in the city, so it's normal. Also, I don't see the surprise in this, you can move a teenager from one country to another, and expect her to adapt at light speed. He then said that they were thinking about sending her to London to study for a year. There are programs in Italy that allow you to take a high school year abroad. He then dropped the bomb. They were planning to send her to live with me. He said that I am a good role model, I made it through med school and now I have a good job. Also, 
he said that with how much I earn, it won't be an issue to care of her, and that I should make myself useful as a big brother, as I contributed nothing to the family all these years, which is true, but neither did they with me. After some reflections I told him I won't host her or anything for the followings. 1. She's not my family, she's his family. He chose them, not me. 2. I don't want to care for another human being. I work a ton and have a social life, sometimes. 3. She's lousy. When I was in Italy, I spotted her sneaking a boy in the house for the night. I don't think she even cares about studying. From the limited time I had with her, she was always either at a party or on her phone. At this point S came into the conversation and accused me of being a racist, they are black, I am Caucasian, and an egoist. I don't feel I can really have a conversation with her, she keeps interrupting me. I also can't really speak with D, so I don't know what she would want. Anyhow they are buzzing my phone because they need my details, address, payslips and all, before the end of October, which is the deadline of the abroad study program. Am I the a-hole here? I feel like they can always pay her college, if they want her to study in London. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. Obviously it's your call and you're not the a-hole either way, in particular, I wouldn't send them personal information like my salary, but also what are they thinking sending a 15-year-old girl to live with a 30-year-old man she barely knows, and hasn't spoken to in however long, regardless of her mother's marital status, and who is not home all the time due to work and having their own life. On what planet is that a good idea? No shade to you OP, but it seems mad. Good point, the optics here are really not great. From an outside perspective, if someone posted on Reddit and said, my white neighbor, 30 male, had a young black girl, 15 female, move into his apartment, and he says she's his stepsister but I don't know, they act like strangers and I always hear yelling. I saw her trying to sneak out too. People would be all over that to report it and make sure the kid wasn't being trafficked not the a-hole and i would contact your grandfather on your mom's side and see about getting that house from them same i remember the previous posts on this one huge brain play from op maybe even make his dad pay freaking rent to live there make them pay for what they did to your childhood yes i know that i'm the devil not the a-hole one she is not your sister or anything you have no legal or moral obligation to take her in two even if she were your sister, this is an incredibly huge ask. This is not a, can your adult relative crash on your sofa while they are looking for a place, or something. She is a teenager. They expect you to become her primary guardian. A replacement parent, but one under the big brother umbrella, ergo, one that is supposed to provide and care for her, but will not be granted any authority over her. 3. With how much iron it won't be an issue to care for her. So, not only are you supposed to be her parent, you are also supposed to pay for her upkeep? I would expect at least a generous monthly payment by them for rent, food and a compensation for you to be part of any, even slightly, reasonable deal. Holy yes, these people are crazy. Do not answer any calls. Answer to all forms of written communications by them with a standard, I do not agree to provide a home for, taken or in any other way care or provide for D, or something like that, and do not react to any other messages after that. Save screenshots or printouts of their messages and your answer. Just so they cannot spin this in A, but he agreed verbally, or something like that. This might be a bit too cautious by me, but I have seen crazy stuff here on Reddit, so I would advise you to cover your butt, and collect that proof that you denied taking her. You never know what trouble they might kick loose in their crazy mindset. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.